Hello everybody, Lady Rizio here with another video. Something a little different today, which you will have deduced if you read the title or looked at the thumbnail or clicked on this video. <laughs> uh, today, no Pokemon, but I'm doing the Webkins trading card game. And the reason why I wanted to do this was, you know, if you watched a previous video where I look at a trading card game that just came out, the LOL Surprise NFT whatever trading card game, it got me thinking about the trading card games that I played when I was a kid. Because I didn't exactly play Pokemon when I was a kid. I don't know, my parents, like... It wasn't that they didn't let me, it was more just like, they're not really nerdy, like me, so they weren't really, you know, interested in it and therefore didn't introduce me to it. So I didn't really collect Pokemon as a kid, but when I was around 4th grade to about 7th grade, let's say, Webkins was the craze. And if you don't know what Webkins is, I'll do a pre brief 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 <laughs> uh, a brief explanation of what that is. It it's made by Gans, which is like a stuffed animal toy company. And what it was slash is, because it's still around, but it's kind of different, which I'll explore in a different video. Uh, it, it was like a stuffed animal that you bought at like Hallmark or whatever and it came with like a little code that you would redeem online and it would give you like a little virtual pet to play with on their website. And you know, you'll see more of that in another video. But I, you know, at the time they later came out with these trading cards and had like four series of them. They were, you know, I want to say they were popular if they made four series of them, but I don't, I never saw anyone buying them. <laughs> so I don't know, but I bought them and I didn't know how to play <laughs> the game. So what my dad and I would do is we would do like guess the card where one of us would have all the cards that I had and the game was you tried to guess what card the other person was holding at the moment and since I only owned like 25 cards there were only so many you could pick from and that was how we played with the trading cards uh, and hopefully we get the card that became like the running joke you know it was called something shiny uh but that became like a running joke between my dad and i because of this game that we played with the webkins trading cards i wanted to do this because you know like i said i saw these you know modern just came out trading cards that had to do with nfts and I wanted to examine this, and Pokemon as well, as, you know, kind of a uh, compare and contrast of what used to be, because I think these came out before, um, before Pokemon started putting the codes in their, their packs, because now Pokemon puts a code card in each pack, which you can redeem for a digital card pack to play online. And it got me thinking because I was like, okay, these NFT trading cards from LOL Surprise, it's kind of dumb, it's kind of weird, just, you know, because it has to do with NFTs. But when it comes down to it, redeeming each card for digital rewards is basically the same thing that Pokemon does and these Webkins trading cards do. There's a digital reward that's redeemed. It, it's this weird thing of like these physical trading cards coming with digital rewards 
that are hyped up as part of the value of the item. And I was thinking, like, what's the difference when it comes down to it between the things that I like, which are, like, the Pokemon cards and these to a certain extent, and the things I don't like, which are the LOL surprise trading cards. Like, what's the difference? Because they're both re redeeming digital rewards that kind of have value if you give them value. It's just very strange, and it's a commentary on the digital age and how these trading cards and whatever are evolving. Because I've seen a lot of comparisons to you know, what trading cards are and what NFTs are. Because, you know, when it comes down to it, like, from the outside, both can be viewed very similarly. Because, like, Pokemon cards or sports cards or magic cards or whatever, they're just a piece of paper when it comes down to it. It's just a piece of paper with fancy printing and sometimes foil on it. But yet, these things can go for hundreds of dollars, sometimes even hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's crazy, especially if you are not interested in it and you don't really know what it's about. It, it can be viewed as, that's stupid. It's a piece of paper. Why are we assigning so much value to it? And the same thing can be said of NFTs in that it's just a picture and a piece of blockchain. Why is it valuable? It's just a picture. And it, it, it's kind of like both things can be seen as ridiculous. Trading cards and NFTs carry a similar sort of ridiculousness from the outside. So I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Is that these things are... You know, there's a lot of similarities between them. And that's what interests me about it. So I, I'm gonna start opening up the packs and we can continue talking. But... Yeah, I just want to get into it because there's um, 36 packs in this booster box, so this may take a while if I can get it open. Hello. Yeah, so in the store it would have been like this, like you open it up and the trading cards are in there. And there's only five cards and a code per pack. But as you can see, Webkin's trading cards by Gans features the Webkins on them. And this actually tells you what the chase cards are um, on this back. Challenge cards, one in two packs. Curio shop curiosities, one in nine packs. Doodles, one in 18 packs, and free Webkin's online pet, one in 36 packs. So, insert ratios are based on an entire run and do not reflect odds for any specific box. Uh, what I'm hoping to get is the free online pet, because technically with 36 packs, we have a one in 36 chance of getting one of those. But I want to do that so I can go online, hopefully, if they- I can still even redeem these codes because it's been a long time since these cards were printed. But I want to do that so we can look at Webkins and kind of take a look at it in 2022 about how it's shaped up and, you know, what, it, what it's like. So I will open this up. Toss this to the side, and let's go like this. So it comes with this flimsy little card with the code on it, which I'll redeem. And you can win up to four codes with online rewards, plus 
a virtual pack of cards in Webkins. So we'll put the code card over here and go in here. So there's like different items. I don't remember how to play the game, if I even ever really played it, but I think they changed the trading cards between sets one and two and three and four, where three and four are more like sports cards in that there's not really any game you can play with them. They're just more of a collector's item, but sets one and two actually corresponded to an actual game that you could play. So, food, picnic, a cat, Chef Gaspacho, trademark, and spinning the Wheel of Wow. I remember the Wheel of Wow. That was like something you got to do once a day, and it was so exciting to go online and spin the Wheel of Wow. Webkins, I was like addicted to Webkins. I had so many pets. I, we got two pet, two cards that time. I had so many pets, I wanted to buy all of the, uh, you know, accoutrement for Webkins, like the little clothes, like the trading cards, etc, etc. It, it was a big deal when, when I was a kid. So this is a challenge card. So that's one of the chase cards, right? Challenge cards, one and two packs. So let's put that over here. But, oh, I mean, a lot of these cards I'm gonna go through pretty quickly because to you probably they're not gonna mean anything. And at this point in my life, they don't mean a lot to me either <laughs> but it's still interesting to kind of like some nostalgia to see you know what in yesteryear was very popular and these cards are actually okay there's another challenge card uh pretty well printed they're very thin but they're still better printed than those LOL surprise cards, which, you know, were basically just pieces of cardstock. Okay, two codes on that. Always be prepared. I really, I don't remember how to play this game because it's, much more complicated than I remember. <laughs> okay, let's go with that over here. Another challenge card. As you can see, we're gonna get a lot of just these regular cards and I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them. Okay, one code. Oh. We, okay, we got the free online pet. Very fun, we got a monkey. Your account will also be extended one year from the adoption date. So, we're going to see if we can still redeem this because this is what I hoped that we could do so that we could take a look at Webkins in 2022 because I think it's still up and running. Or at least some version of it is. And I hope the codes are still um, active because we're going to have a lot of codes to redeem and I want to see what we get. A 
At least we got the online pet, though. We got the ultimate chase card. I feel like they're... Um, different ways, like different facing different directions in the packs because every time I open it up I'm like have to flip it over. Maybe I'm just dumb. That's always a possibility. Bathtub. And hopefully we get some of the other chase cards. Because if not, I'm going to have to show you, because I still have all my Webkin's trading cards from back in the day. So I have some of the good chase cards that I opened up. I think I even won the online pet a couple times. Because... Not, like, right now. Okay, here's one of the doodles. Hollow foil card. That shows kind of, like, some of the concept art for the game. Which is very cool. It's kind of cool to see that, you know, a lot of design actually went into making Webkins. Which, you know, I can don't think I can say for some of the modern um, games like LOL Surprise. I know I keep ragging on LOL Surprise, but they're like the, you know, compare and contrast example that I have. What gets triathlon? Let's flip it over again. Dragster. I remember there were, like, you could make foods and stuff. You could, there was a whole employment office full of, like, where you could work. And there were all these mini games where you could, you know, pretend to work. Here's another doodle card for the Zingos, which are, like, the little wacky creatures in the game, but that's very cool. Ophidian Kalaloo. Fun. More zebra dog and frog. This is fun to kind of do something different. An old artifact who run, ran the curio shop. I remember the curio shop was like rotating rare items that you had to save up a lot of the little online coins to get. So that was very, you know, that was very cool. Okay, see, here's an example. The Curio Shop, Curio Shop Curiosities. Robotic arm table. So stuff like this was available in the Curio Shop. Weird, you know, concept-y stuff like this. And, you know, if you had enough little coins, you could get it for your little online house. Because how it worked is everyone had like digital pets and you had a little house that they all lived in that you could decorate with oh here's another um curio majestic throne i remember this one was really expensive i don't think i ever got it because it was too expensive but yeah you had a little house that all your pets lived in that you could decorate with specific um, like furniture that came with each pet and then you could buy more you could buy clothes for your webkins 
There was, it was like a whole thing that, it was pretty extensive. And I remember, you know, it, I wanted to play it every day because you got rewards for logging in every day. So I would, you know, go to school and do my chores and all of that stuff so I could get online and play Webkins. I had to play on my mom's computer because I didn't have a computer of my own. Cat tradesies, no return. Yeah, fond memories. Lots of cards. But thankfully not as many cards as a Pokemon booster box, because otherwise we'd be here forever. <sighs> We're already 23 minutes in. So. Oh, the Wishing Well. I remember that was something you got to do once every day, too. And you could get, like, really good rewards from it. Nor normally you got nothing. And Poncho, this was a character from one of the mini games, like the candy mini game, that was kind of like you had to bounce this bean and try and get all the candy before the time ran out. It was very silly, but it was a lot of fun. I remember it being really hard. <laughs> Because it progressively got harder. Something shiny! This was the one my dad and I would always joke about in the Guess the Card game. That's fun. Okay. Another challenge card. I think the challenge cards are important because they're like essential to playing the game. So like Pokemon, if you just bought one or two of these packs, you wouldn't really have enough cards to play the actual game. And they didn't sell decks of this. So if you wanted to actually play the game, you had to buy a lot of cards. Like you had to buy one of these booster boxes or something. Which is why my dad and I would play the guess the card game because I didn't have enough cards to actually play the game. And even if I had, you know, who was I going to play it with? My brother? He's four years younger than me. So even though he played Webkins, he was not like obsessed with it like I was at that age because he was too little. He was obsessed with, like, fire trucks and rescue heroes and all that stuff. Public service. Isn't it funny what we are attracted to when we're, we're kids? It's, it's very fascinating. And how, like, even if the stuff is kind of crap... You know, now that we're adults, we can recognize that. How we still look at, look back on it fondly. Because now I can appreciate Webkins is kind of like crap. Because it's a kid's game. But I have such fond memories of playing it. That I'm still kind of like, oh, Webkins. Just or that pack in half. I haven't really gotten a good... Oh, the wishing... The W Pond. I know, I, I wanted this so bad. Because you got a little yard, too, in your, your house. And you could... I wanted the pond. I wanted it so bad. With, like, the little rocks and... 
Webkins was a lot of fun. It was pretty extensive for what it was. And people clearly worked hard on it. Which is surprising. I wonder where those people are now. Hopefully they're not making the LOL surprise game. Oh, that, that pack opens nicely. And these cards really slide out of there easier than Pokemon cards do. Which is kind of nice. Another challenge card. I'll even see if I can find some of the webkins that I had. Because I, I don't know if I still have any of them. I feel like I still have a, one of them or two, but beef flavored gumdrops, yum. But I think I donated most of them when I, you know, when we moved and when I went away to college. <laughs> It was really fun. Lots of mini games. Lots of interesting stuff. Okay, two packs left. Oh, and it looks like we got another good card. Egyptian Vase. Well, this is a good pack. It's got one of these cards and a challenge card. Cool. I remember I wanted like this in real life with like the rainbow strawberries but it says that it's a contest winning mix of ripe strawberries buttery pancakes and spicy pizza we may have to make that <laughs> because it sounds so disgusting and that's one of the other things we do on this channel is we make disgusting foods Oh, this one's got a two for two. Knight of the Round Armor and the Smarty Pants. Okay, so kind of the better cards we got. I'm not going to go through all of the challenge cards because those... You know, even though technically they're a chase card, they're, there's a lot of them, and we don't really care what they are. But, yeah, like, these are some, the hollow cards that we got. Which is cool. It's cool. I especially like the, the doodles ones, because you can kind of see the concept art that went into making the game. And then our free online pet, which I will redeem. And we will take a look at Webkins in 2022. But anyway, this was just an excuse so that I could buy and open more of these Webkins trading cards that I was so obsessed with when I was a kid. But hopefully you found that interesting, something a little different than Pokemon cards. You probably had no idea what any of that meant. I barely did. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see in the future if I can still redeem these codes or if that's all defunct now. And yeah, but that that's a little taste of Webkins. We'll do a deep dive uh, later. But yeah, this was... Webkins was really important to my childhood. It, it was kind of what I was into before I got into anything else. Like, when I was a kid, what I was really into was Harry Potter and Webkins. <laughs> and now Harry Potter, obviously, it's kind of the taste has soured because of J.K. Rowling. Um, but Webkin's still fond memories. So, we'll take a look at that, and we'll see. So, 
This is Lady Raziel signing off. I will see you again in another video. And let me know what you thought in the comments. If there's any other trading card games you want me to look into and open up. So, 